This is one of the most ancient wine territories on the planet. Now, I'm not in France, I'm not in Spain, and I'm not even in Italy. I'm in the Sumerian hills of Judea and Samaria. Welcome to Shiloh, the biblical city that preceded Jerusalem as the central worship site of the early Israelites. Over 3,000 years ago, Shiloh was the first capital of the Israelite kingdom. And today it's home to the Shiloh Winery, a boutique winery that produces some of Israel's most internationally recognized kosher wines. This is Amichai Luria, and he's the chief winemaker at Chilo. This is a Merlot, Petit Syrah, Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc. The whole area, all these vineyards around us, we have lots and lots of ancient wine presses that date back thousands of years. King David, Yoshua Binun, this is where they walked, this is where they lived, this is where they made wine. They'd bring the grapes here, step on it, put it into the hole over there, it would ferment, mm -hmm. and you'd have wine. When King David said, wine gladdens the heart, he was talking about wine that was made here, in this area. After 2,000 years in exile, finally we're back to where everything started. And then there is light. Wow. You can see how deep we are underground if you just look up at the ceiling here. It's amazing. So we're drinking a Shiloh 2019 rosé in a cave where they used to age wine 3,000 3, years. 3, years ago. Lechaim. Lechaim. In the Sumerian hills, you have cold nights, you have warm days, and what does that do for the grapes? The grapes mature slowly, and the slower they mature, the better they get. We actually collect all the waste from the chickens, from the uh, goats, from the sheep, and we use everything to make our own organic compost. So this is a Cabernet Sauvignon that I separated the men from the boys, so to speak, different barrels, right. and picked the best ones to make this specific wine. Okay. And this is the base of the Cabernet Secret Reserve, which is our best seller. But you wouldn't, you wouldn't serve this to the public yet. It's not ready. No, no. At least it needs at least another year in barrels. And also during that year, I'm going to be deciding which barrels We'll oh, I love this. I feel like I'm ready yeah. to take this home. Amichai has taken me to his house to feast on a local lamb. So the one thing that you have to be careful about if you come to the Shiloh Winery is how much you drink, right? How much you drink and how yeah. much you eat. And how much you eat. We try to do a different kind of tour mm -hmm. uh, to be unique, to give a different kind of experience. How long has this been cooking for? I don't know. I think I left to the vineyards at around 5 o'clock in the morning, so it's since five already in the no grill. No big deal, yeah. no big deal. Sometimes it'll be longer. We'll see how that falls off through the bone. Oh my God. It's an amazing privilege to work the land of Israel. It's an amazing privilege to plant the vine and knowing that prophecies are coming true. And when you respect the vines themselves, then you get back. It's a spiritual connection of a person that makes wine to the land itself, to the vines. Mm -hmm. 